think there's been a great deal of hyperbole. The regulations that the Lords considered on Monday were required to be laid before the Lords as well as the Commons under the Tax Credits Act 2002, and the Lords considered them. They came to a view which the government didn't like that much. Well, certainly the House of Commons hasn't acted against, uh, I would say, uh, constitutional uh, law. Uh, it may have had a surprising, in the view of the government, uh, a surprising attitude to some of the conventions governing relations between the two houses, but I don't think it's the end of the world in any way. Well, I think the government will need to consider the events of Monday and the Chancellor has indicated that he's going to soften his proposals and perhaps introduce transitional uh, arrangements. Uh, if that happens, then I think that will meet and assuage a lot of public concern, concern in the Lords, but also, and pretty highly relevantly, concern amongst his own Conservative backbenchers in the Commons. Statutory instrument is uh, something which can be done by ministers under powers given to them by the Parent Act. One, uh, I think, regrettable trend in the use of statutory instruments is to put in them uh, major issues of policy and principle which really ought to be on the face of a bill and so uh, subject to the scrutiny that a bill gets um, and uh, not left to subsequent regulations by statutory instruments. No, because the government has behaved entirely according to the law. Regulations have been made uh, as foreseen in the Parent Act and they've been laid before both houses. So no, the government has behaved entirely properly from that point of view. I think that would be a, a huge overreaction and I think the government would get a lot more criticism than that they would get long-term uh, political advantage. I think tempers and uh, emotions have been running high over the last few days, and I think the most sensible thing is just to give a little time for things to settle down, then people will see it in proportion.